early in the season. Aaron Perez, one of the best in the Pac-10. On to punt. Marlon Moore. Got a seam. There he goes. Touchdown, Fresno State. And a flag down at the 20-yard line. 63 yards to the end zone. So we'll wait and see what this one's about. This flag came late. It's about the time Moore crossed the goal line. Pac-10 crew working today. Michael Batlin, your referee. The touchdown is good. Delay of game. Sideline interference on Fresno State. Five yards from the succeeding spot. David. How about the start to this one? Early for UCLA in this season. Leading receiver, and you're right. You, you know at some point you're going to get hit when you lay yourself out like that. Bulldogs showing blitz. Here they come. Down goes Kraft. Moses Harris, the strong safety and a junior from Stockton, California. If there is a defender on this defense for Fresno State that really jumps out at you when you look at film and you watch the play in this early season for Fresno State, it's a strong safety number three. And Harris gets involved up near the line of scrimmage. He's almost like a linebacker athlete playing in that strong safety position. We had a chance to see Ole Miss a couple of weeks ago in a pretty impressive offense. Brand Stater looking for room and has time. Flushed out. Throws on the run. Coming back, Marlon Moore with the catch up the midfield. What a play. First by Brandstater to buy the time and then by Moore. And Tom Brandstater, you look at him, he's not a guy that really strikes you as having a lot of mobility, but he does have a nice knack for moving in the pocket. That hit from Carter might have come late. A little bit. But this is a dangerous throw. Nice ball placement down the field. E injury. Matthews cutting back. Could be gone. Touchdown. Worth the three-and-a-half-hour ride from Fresno to watch this one. Now Fresno State, a great job of using misdirection. The handoff to Matthews. It looked like Bobby Lepre, the left tackle, got a great block out on the perimeter to swing. Shane Moline, Khalil Bell in the backfield. Bell. Hit at the line, spun his way ahead. Marvin Haynes, that's going to be awfully close. You see the Bruins saying first down. That's the man shaking up, Haynes, who made the initial hit. And Haynes looks like he might have one of those stingers along the shoulder and the neck area. If you ever had one of those, they're not a lot of fun. Fresno State, the defense saying they didn't make it. Bruins offense saying yep go ahead but you can see the yellow line there now that's not official obviously that's us but oh and, and looks the to mark, be short and the mark you know indicates that they might be a bit short here now there's yeah, I don't think there's any question And it is short, and a big stop from Pat Hill's defense. Yeah, Steve Young, Mark Wilson, Jim McMahon, Robbie Bosco. Quick throw, and the catch along the near sideline. Good throw from Brandstater. Azira Tutu with the catch. And you get the sense this offense is gaining some rhythm right now. Catch of the afternoon, but he can break him. First down pass over the middle. Azure 2 2 again with the catch. Down to the 12. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent work up front by Fresno State. Offensive line giving Brand Stater all kinds of time. And again, a big time throw from number seven. Gain of 24. They'll call the timeout with a minute one left. A nice use of that first timeout. Creates a real comfort zone for Fresno State. Second and three. They still could get a first down here. Although with the time up there, they're not thinking that. Back of the end zone, touchdown. It is Pasco, the tight end. Pat Hill's got him pumped up. Rick Neuheisel now thinking about defense and what they're going to do. Not the offensive woes, but Brandstater was oh so confident on that drive. To Wisconsin, where he missed three, including the one at the end. This one from 35 yards. It's down, it's up. And it's good. They extend the lead. Joe Bernardi, who was knocked out of the game earlier on the bike on the sideline. Pacheco is the man who came in for him and just picked up the penalty. Grant Stater, quick out. There's a catch close to a first down. Cast in West. Right in front of Courtney Viney. West. Good work between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell certain spots in a game when a quarterback, that, that light bulb goes on. There's a click of a switch. Here comes Matthews around the sideline. Brought down inside the 15. A quick burst by Ryan Matthew and a gain of 32. And Fresno State has not been the type of offense this season where you look at them on film and say, hey, they're a big play outfit. But Fresno State getting a lot of big plays. Too. Fresno State still within Gessling's range. Under pressure, they throw it this way, set up the screen, and have room. Harding jumps over one, gets to the end zone. And it's Matthews who did it. Unbelievable. First catch of the afternoon for Ryan Matthews, 25 yards to the end zone. Gessling on for the extra point. Good holding spot. A little bit off on the snap. Ryan Matthews, take a look at this one. Got room, got blockers. Uh oh, there's a tackler. Not anymore. Arizona. Finally, this offensive line starting to gel as a young, inexperienced unit. Coleman again. Defense stiffening now. Chris Carter in there. In a hurry. Play action. Across the middle. Wide open. Touchdown. Chaston West. Stater paid for it, but west to the end zone. And they made it look easy. And David, a little bit of everything on that drive. Gessling and Rick Neuheisel have been trying to get Kevin Kraft to go ahead and just pull the football down from time to time. So he's had runs of 16 and 18 yards on consecutive plays. Coleman, a little extra action after, and it ball is loose, and it's Fresno State's football. The ball coming out late, and the Bulldogs coming up with a huge turnover. Well, this is a true freshman. Coleman trying to lower the shoulder. That might have been, that might have been Moses Harris for punishment. Anya Miller is on in place of Matthew, who has 137 yards on the ground today. Miller bounces outside, finds the edge. 
Well, they've, they've got three different backs. If you throw an Anthony Harding, too, who can beat you a number of different ways. And a throw this time from the back. Wide open is Pasco, the tight end. He's got another first down, his fifth catch of the game. 10 team by three points. Gives you a shot at the BCS. As big a play as we've seen here, third and four. Grandstater throws complete. They pick up the first down. Rashad Evans with the catch. High into the air for it, too. And they were all over Brandstater. On the line. Right here. On fourth. And one. Matthews to the line of scrimmage. Bursting through. He's got the first down. Big time carry to move the chains. And a big time statement by Pat Hill's offensive line. Matthews really emerging as an all star at the tailback position. And UCLA about to drop to one and three on the season. Sidelines, they're getting everybody up. Clad in red to celebrate. First win ever here at the Rose Bowl over UCLA. From Pat Hill, Fresno State Bulldogs with the win. It wasn't easy though. Two good friends right there with a lot of respect for each other, shaking hands. You have to give great credit to Pat Hill and to Fresno State. The way they select their non-conference schedule. A lot of programs, a lot of big programs, Terry, across the country dodging big opponents and big games. Not Fresno State. And David, our Chevrolet players of the game. Brent Stater, 236 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. And Brian Price, who had that one interception, also not only the four tackles, he had a blocked PAT, did so much, had a sack this afternoon. Big game defensively. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. 36-31 is your final tonight. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC. You've got primetime Big Ten matchups with David Norrie, our entire crew. I'm Terry Gannon. So long, everybody, after good one here in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena.